yes so i think uh, enough queries so now now he, he just want to understand uh, can computer do the quality checks actually so now he's keen that now because he, lot of quality issues he is experiencing because uh, even he deputed the the quality engineers he is to be too much dependent on them again uh, there are only sampling on the quality actually he is not in a position to do 100% quality check of all the company that's the reason he is he was encountering 9% of rejections actually it's a huge basically if he is making a turnover of 9 and 1/2 crores if you see that if you anchor the 9% of uh, rejections means you are losing a lot of money actually into that so his query is that can our computing system whatever demonstrations we were showing to him can this can help in implementing the quality checks is there any way to do that so i think uh, we have explained to him and the way we are also explaining to you uh, so let's see that so we have explained him that there are many ways to implement the machine vision actually so there are the technologies available uh, where you will deploy some of the the camera and then with the help of a camera you will be able to do some kind of a quality checks and this will be 100% and this is one of the implementation we have done in our lab uh for for inspecting the the size of the hole in the machine uh, in this particular component so this component is moving on to the conveyor and we have uh, operation where the spool insertion is required into this precise hole and we want to find out the exact location of this hole into the the component so we have used one simple camera with an lens the interesting part is that the the ip or the technology required to implement the computer vision is very easy today i think that's how you see that we have written a very small uh, piece of a code uh, most of the libraries are available most of the tools are available and and we will be able to check the whole of a component in this way so we just process the image in the three different steps uh, and and without even extra lighting into the the region we will be able to measure the diameter of the hole over here so actual diameter was uh, 8 mm and the major diameter is 7.95 if you see that with an error of 0.05 mm we will be able to do the measure even if you want to use a uh, if you need an a better uh, precision over here uh, you can go for even a better resolution camera and you may be able to process it so this is one of the application uh, we have explained to him that he can depute such uh, machine vision application to make the 100% quality check at the different location of the the production itself uh some of the uh, another use cases we have discussed with him uh, using the computer vision which we have shown just now uh and using the augmented reality also and along with the cloud inter interface so so in the upcoming sessions when we uh, take up a uh, in depth uh, learning on these technologies we will even allow you to do this hands on learning the idea is that uh, this is one of the use cases of the maintenance itself so how a vision uh, basically useful because some of the data i will be directly getting from the plcs uh but many times we want people to go and see the component actually what is what is wrong actually and 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 he is not able to figure it out what is wrong because for example if a person is not familiar with the controller or the plc uh, indicators that are there onto the top of the plc we need to build up a system which will assist him so if there is an a red light is glowing onto the plc what does it mean this means the program is not running what is the fault actually what type of fault it is actually these kind of an uh, example use cases can be done so we build an application where the person can take a mobile just click a picture of the the system actually now this time i am just capturing the live view of the uh, the component so in this case this is the plc uh, person captured the image then this image is being uploaded into the cloud for the analysis actually that is how we have done and the image get processed so now image processing happens it will figure out we have uh, put a filter that that the red light is being identified the location of the light is being identified and based on that location we will be able to identify what fault is there into the plc now person don't know what fault is in the plc and what to do now uh, but this system at the back will be able to process the image from the plc what he has captured and later on the instruction will be made available to him so the the processed instruction is further made available to into the same mobile device and using the augmented reality we will be guiding him either to reset this particular plc or maybe to change some of the wiring into the plc i think that's a way which is a closed loop kind of an integration so we have used a technology which is computer vision over here we have used augmented reality to guide the person to do that at the same time we have used the processing of the the cloud processing power of the cloud and certainly we have used the open source library of a computer vision that is open cv in this implementation 
I think that is a, the fair good use cases. So we we try to demonstrate these are the possible applications of the vision uh, can happen in this factory. This is another experiment that that we have done, and you can also do with the kits actually whenever it will be permitted. With our own kit, we have two different kits. One is the mechanism kit. One is the uh, controller kit, where we can interface to implement one of these applications here. So we have designed this mechanism kit, which I will explain through AR to you also. In this case, uh, you have uh, uh, four different stations to do the processing actually. So one, one we have an RFID with certain parameters being captured over here. Then we have an, a height sensor over here. We have an, a vision also integrated into this. And then we have an actuator in place. And once we integrate this with our controller kit, where we will be doing the programming actually. The good example here that for the vision, uh, certainly my PLCs are not capable to do the vision application. So what I have done, I have integrated an another hardware into the system. So there's an uh, NVIDIA GPU hardware being used for the image processing. So what we have done, this camera is being interfaced with the GPUs because we want a faster vision actually. So image processing requires more power. It has to happen very fast actually. And with this, we will be able to run the same use case what you have seen in the previous slide. So now if you can see the augmented view here where you will see the real time parameters are appearing onto the uh, mechanism kit itself. So same you can see in the uh, augmented view. So I will give you a live demonstration of this uh, through the AR actually that I will show you. <laughs> 